Hey everyone, this is something a bit different uh, to arcade joystick, obviously, something I made last year. It's uh, wireless twos, no wires. Um, and I got the dimensions off slagcoin.com. He's got a lot of really detailed information on there if you're looking at building one yourself to do the enclosure. It's got all the dimensions and it fills in a lot of the blanks. I use the soft touch sand wire buttons. They're really soft to touch, as you can see. And um, the uh, uh, JLF um, joystick, which is a low tension, it's got low tension springs in it. it doesn't, it's really easy to push, as you can see. Uh, the joystick I had before that had a JLW and HAT buttons. I've actually got it right next to me. I'll just quickly show you the difference between the joysticks. This one's, um, it's a lot tighter. Here it's a lot more clicky. It takes a lot more effort to, to push it. And the HAT style buttons, I mean, th that's usable for some of the old school. I, I still use it for games like the, uh, the old school sort of Pac-Man or uh, Ladybug and uh, Mr. Do and all that sort of stuff. But... Um, for anything that requires fast movement, it's not really that good. It's good for four-way as well. It's got a, it's got the uh, the four-way restrictor plate on. It's really good, but um, it's it's not that good for uh, for much else. So unfortunately, and that and these half-style buttons are just no good. Full stop. They, yeah, they're not very good. So back to the back to the um, one that I made recently. <clears throat> Uh, I just printed this off. I took, I, I designed this myself, and I just print, took it to the local Photoshop and got them to print it onto like matte. It's a, it's a, uh, a matte photograph. I chose matte because I thought the gloss might actually stick to the plexiglass. So, yeah, that's why I, I chose matte. So, looking at the bottom, I've just got a little panel on the bottom here with a little ribbon thing that you pull. It takes, it takes the bottom off like that. And this is the guts. It looks a hell of a lot more complicated than it actually is, I must say. Basically, I just got the interface out of, out of a wireless keyboard and sort of hacked into it. You can just see how I've just soldered directly onto the, um, I don't know if you can see that, but yeah, directly onto the tracks. And I've just worked out, uh, and, sorry, and that runs up, that's an IDE cable, and that runs up to um, this board here, and the IDE cable plugs in um, like that and then you can just tap into either side of the IDE cable to get the button combinations so basically when when track one and track three are connected together when you press a button it might be the letter W when track three and track seven sorry when track three and track seven are connected together it might be shift it, it's just two it's just a short between two pins that actually make the buttons work if that makes sense uh, it, it's not that complicated to um, to actually do. So I'll, I'll show you what I mean on the screen. Like if I press a button, just have to move the camera for this. So I've pretty much just assigned a keyboard character to every uh, button on the on the arcade stick. So if I press up on the arcade stick, it's H. If I press down, it's M. Right is O. So you just set that up into your um, into your emulator. And I've also just got on the back here. I'll just grab the camera. Um, yeah, they've got those four buttons just for extra buttons. So, for instance, I'll just get into MAME on the computer and um, I'll load, um, I will load Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles because that's the one on the screen. And then, yeah, if I press that button on the back, as soon as it loads, I'm pretty sure it's that one. Yeah, so that adds, that adds a credit and that starts the game. And that's pretty much it, and then you're in. <coughs> Let the good times roll. Come on. Yeah, so that's my controller. Something a bit different for this video, but yeah, I've I've wanted to do a video on it for a while because um, yeah, I'm, I'm quite uh, I'm quite proud of this. So. It's a lot of work. It took me quite a few months to get it together and the dimensions and it. And it's not cheap too. I mean, it probably cost me. I had to get all the tools and things for it. Uh, force and the bits. You got to use force and the bits for the plexiglass because plexiglass cracks really easy. So yeah, it um, cost probably a bit. Probably looking maybe it would be over 100, maybe 120 uh, approximately. 
I, I can't remember all the little bits and pieces, but um, yeah, it was uh, definitely worth it because it kicks ass. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe.